Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Caroline Guscott and I'm standing here at the Cleveland Museum of Art and in Cleveland's Fine Arts Garden. I'm here with the supervisor of grounds for the Cleveland Museum of Art, Tom Hornberger. Tom, thanks so much for no joining problem. me. No problem. Now, could you just tell me a little bit about what you do as the supervisor of grounds for the Cleveland Museum of Art? Sure. Yeah, basically we oversee the grounds here from the outside all the way through in the front exterior part. Uh, we have six full-time staff that are on, on board with me. Uh, we do everything from the beginning maintenance to cleaning to what you see today on the gardens. Great. Would you take me through the uh, Fine Arts Garden sure. and show me a little bit? Yeah, let's go. All right, walk. let's head this way. Right. Tom, you've been telling me that you have been here for over a decade here at the museum. Yes, I have. And you were saying that your main focus is something about taking the gardens back to what it originally what they used to be? Mm -hmm. Yes, back in the 1930s, the Olmsted brothers drew a plan up for the Fine Arts Garden. And pretty much most of the stuff was installed over the years. Well, then as things died and things didn't get replaced properly, things changed. So basically, we came in, had Banking Associates come in, redid the drawing, and now we're in the process of putting it all back to its original plan. Oh, that is so interesting. So when visitors come to the museum and walk around the Fine Arts Garden, walk around the lagoon, they can almost experience what it was like back in the yes, 1930s. Exactly, exactly, I'd love to yeah. see some examples. Will you show me? Yeah, let's go take a walk. Okay. So Tom, can you tell me a little bit about these newly planted trees? Yes. Yes, these cherries were put in last year. Uh, it was a generous donation from the Women's Council, which is a very large uh, organization that helps the museum out with fundraising and so forth. Oh, Over 600 okay. members, mm -hmm. really nice. And uh, they came in and asked if we could do some trees. So we basically purchased 12 and we installed them. This is all part of the original plan. I noticed down here, this is, this caught my eye too. This is a very interesting uh, tree. Yes. Could you tell me a little bit about this sure. one? Sure. Yeah, this is a weeping beech. Uh, Kind of a neat exotic looking tree basically for, really the, for the area that we have down here in the grounds because they base they wanted to keep everything pretty much simple so we didn't take away from the museum or the art. Ah, we I want see. to compliment more on the museum yes. than anything. Okay. So this is a real nice older specimen of a weeping beech tree. It's and right next to it, if you take a look over there, is just oh. a standard beech. In Obviously a it's color. upright yeah, more and upright than, different color. Mm -hmm. Are the leaves similar? Very similar in, in size and shape and so forth. You just get a little bit of difference in the texture and so okay. forth. And compared to the new trees, I know that these are obviously larger. These have been around for a while. Yes, these have been around for a while. To show you a little example, 10 years ago when we started on the Olmsted plan, we planted these here. And these are basically the size of the smaller one you see. Ah, yes. Um, and again, this is one of the ones that they donated. So now we've got to give you a good example of that will eventually look like this. All right, let's look at some more. Tom, this is such a beautiful spot uh, to come and enjoy your lunch or to sit and read a book, have some quiet time. Mm -hmm. Has it always been so peaceful and restful here? Uh, actually, now it is. <laughs> About 12 years ago when I interviewed for the job here at the museum, mm -hmm. uh, the facilities director took me around and this was actually all under construction. Oh, wow. All the stone were removed, uh, trees were removed, everything was redone. The fountain was restructured and so forth. Okay. And, uh, so this basically. this was here. This is an yes. old piece, but you had yeah. to restructure yes, it. They had to do some refurbishing to it. Okay. So. And the trees, you moved the trees. The and trees were moved, brought in. Uh, these are Lombardy popular sycamore trees, basically. Okay. And uh, it gives a pollarding look if you look from the top of the walk up along East Boulevard. Mm -hmm. You can look over the top and basically see they're cut flat. Oh, it's so it's like a canopy. It's a canopy exactly, and that's what they wanted. Okay, because this really is, it, it does have um, sort of a, a feel like you're under a roof or a yeah. terrace of some sort. It's a very cool place very nice. to come rest from the hot sun. <laughs> yeah. Relax, read a book, eat your lunch. Yeah, yeah. really is yeah. so nice, a beautiful spot. Let's head this way. Okay. Tom, thanks so much for taking the time to give me a quick tour of these gardens, um, the Cleveland Fine Arts Garden and the grounds, the museum grounds. I appreciate it so much. It's beautiful. You do such a great job. Your staff is amazing. So thank you so much. We appreciate all you do. So come on down to the Cleveland Museum of Art and see the beautiful grounds that Tom and his crew work on so hard throughout the year. And come visit Cleveland's Fine Arts Garden. Hope to see you down here. Thanks.